good evening today we will see the nifty 50 analysis via goodwill best management website so first we will have to click on these three horizontal bars and we'll have to go to market segment and click on the equity so from here we can basically get the performance of the equity in today's market and in the case of nsc we have the opening price of rupees 16105 and the previous closing price that means yesterday it was 16025.8 while the high for the equity is rupees 16204.45 and the low was rupees 15903.7 next we have sectoral performance of the nifty indices so for the top performers we have nifty psu bank nifty metal nifty bank nifty financial and finally the nifty private bank and for underperforming sector we have nifty fmcg nifty energy followed by nifty pharma consumer and infrastructure after that we can see the stock market statistics so basically in top gainers we have the following companies like tata steel jsw steel apollo hospital sbi hdfc bank and hindelco and from here we can basically see the last trade price the change in term of rupees change in term of percentage the previous closing price of the companies and the highest and lows for the specific companies like for tata steel we have the high of 1067.55 and the low as rupees 995.25 and from volume toppers we have the companies like coal india ntpc itc tata motors sba and tata steel and from here we can see the number of shares traded for the particular company like for coal india we have 23,140,556 share for the volume toppers, we have the following companies like Reliance, Infosys, HDFC Bank, Tata Steel, HDFC Corporation and ICICI Bank. After that, we have the market details where we can get the information about the yearly highs and yearly lows. And from bottom, we can see the latest news about the equity segment. And from here, we can basically choose a symbol in the multi-commodity exchange market. Like you can choose aluminum, copper, cotton, crude oil or whatever commodity that you want to analyze and from here we can basically choose the expiry date going by the graph we can see that for the gold it was 50,711 while the previous closing price was rupees 50,819 while the high for the gold was rupees 50,860 and the low was rupees 50,673 for top gainers we have gold guinea crude oil and for top losers we have nickel menthol for the volume toppers we have the following symbols and for the value toppers we have the following symbols you can basically pause the video if you want to know more about it and you can just click on it after that we have new highs and new lows so basically for the aluminum the high was rupees 241.2 and the change was around rupees 0 0.10 and at the bottom you can basically see the news about the commodities for the pre-session mid-session end session so from here we can basically choose the instrument futures or option and from here we can select the symbols expiry date and the option type and from here we can basically see the derivative statistics like who were the gainers or losers or the volume toppers or the value toppers in today's market after that we have open interest increase and decrease and finally we have the derivative news like on may 25th we have nifty may futures trade at discount after that we have mutual fund and we have basically three categories equity debt and hybrid and from here we can see the returns the returns can be monthly half yearly or the yearly for yearly we have uh, around 8.89 for the automobile sector about minus 3.01 for banking about 6.65 for diversified and so on and these are the top performers for the mutual fund schemes and from here we can see the returns and from here we can see the latest news about the mutual fund market thank you for today and please do subscribe like and share the video